Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I will introduce you guys our new product which is the Colorview PT Camera. It is a 4MP Colorview PT Camera. The model will be DS Dodge 2DE 3A400BW-DE. It is an AccuSense camera. It is able to do human and vehicle target classifications. And also it has a real-time alarm. It will able to flash the strobe light and also will come up with the alarm sound. You're also able to do the custom audio by yourself and then you upload to the camera. You also have a built-in speakers and also built-in mic. It's able to do two-way audio. And then next is a PT function. It's able to pan, pan to 0 to 350 degrees and also tilt 0 to 90 degrees. And also it's very easy to installations. It has an integrated bracket. I will show you later. It will be able to mount on the wall, okay? So now, we're going to start to unboxing this PT camera color. So first, we have the manual. And then we all have all the accessories. The power adapter. Yeah. Usually, we install like this on the wall. You're able to pan, pan, okay? You can see over here. This is the integrated bracket. So you can wall mount, okay? It's very easy to install. You already have the bracket. And this is the outlook. And also over here, there's a slot over here. You open it and you can also input your micro SD card which is able to support up to 512 GB, okay? So now we're going to continue with the configuration part. First step, we need to open this SADP2. Then we can search for our Hague Vision camera device. And this is our models. As you can see, the 2DE 3A400BW-DE. And you can see this is IP. 1.80 okay so now we open our browser then we key in the IP address log in with the username and password as you can see this is the view of our camera so we go to the configuration part and you see under the system you can see the model double confirm the model so I will show you guys the live view you can see it's a 4 megapixels color view camera. It's a pen tilt, so now you see I can pan. I'm sure I also can tilt it. You can tilt up to 90 degrees. Yeah. So you can like a PT camera. Okay. It's a PT control. You can use the web browser to control it. So next I will show you the configuration parts. Under this, straight away we can go to the image. So under image, there are a few settings that you can do. You can see over here. You can make it as a scene is a what is the scenario of this? So between this uh, indoor or outdoor. Okay, under over here, image adjustment. You can set the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness. And for this exposure settings, and this uh one of the important settings are uh, the day and night switch. So as we have mentioned, this is a color view camera, you will able to provide a color view during night mode okay so we need to set this as uh, as default also can to be as an auto or you can set a schedule switch for them between the day and night okay usually we, we can set it as an auto okay so this is a supplement light mode so during the night time it will open the light for supplement light so we can get a full color view okay this is one of the important settings you can take take note on this and also the backlight settings, white balance, video adjustments, and any others, the zoom limit, okay? So next, we go over to the event. I have mentioned just now, this camera will be able to do the VCA functions, some of the event like motion detections, some of smart event will be like light closing, intrusion detections, region entrance, okay? With this VCA function, we can also link to the linkage method, which is able to flashing a uh, alarm, which is light, the strobe light, like a strobe light, and also we can enable the audible warning. So it will come out with some voice like dangerous, like not allow the people to come inside. So where can we set the audio? You can go to a basic event over here. You can see this is the audio alarm. Under the audio alarm, there are different type like custom audio. You can upload your you can upload your audio file into it. This is the format as you can see. Follow this format and upload your audio. 
Now we have some of our audio like warning. Under the warning, there's different types of wordings that you can use, like siren, warning, this is restricted area. You can choose of them. If you do want to upload your own voice on audio, you can choose from the system default by default itself inside this camera that is already have this all this sound and voice. Okay. And then you also are the prompt. Yeah. And here you also can set the alarm time that you want. Depend how many times you want the alarm to sound out. Okay, then you can set the times here. And also the schedule. So you can set over the schedule over here. Okay. So for example, like we go to smart event, you can do a line closing. After you already set up this line closing, okay, then enable it, then go to a main schedule. And over here, you can see we already set it. It's in the blue color, it's mean that you already arm throughout the whole time, 24 hours. And also the linkage method. You can take the linkage method that you want, like flashing alarm or audible warning. Then you can take over here, then click save. Okay, so basically this is how we do the setting for this flashing alarm and also the audible alarm. So for this flashing alarm, you can see over here, we can set the duration also. And this is the flashing frequency, you can choose it. And so the brightness and same, the schedule. Okay.